Hey everybody, welcome to the Arcane Lounge podcast. Thanks for joining. If you're brand new here, this is a podcast that Spencer and Pepper and I all do. We I don't, nobody, no one of us hosts it. We all host it. Yeah. Um, and sometimes we have guests on, like you two, our our good friends, and my sister. Um, you're you're everybody. Yeah, you're and everybody Steven. else's sister and too. And you're Steven. not a good friend, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Stephen. And, and today we're kind of doing a little Dungeon Delve episode. We I'd like to do this after every episode, if it's, uh, you know, possible for us to do that, where we kind of just go over some questions, read some comments, kind of do like a post-mortem. I like the idea of also calling it Long Rest at the Tavern or something like that. That's kind of what it feels like. Post-mortem really is also funny. fun considering how the session ended. Yeah, um, so spoilers. There were, there, was, there were many mortems. Obviously, yeah. I don't know why you'd be watching this if you haven't watched it already, but we're going to be basically spoiling the entire episode, so go watch it if you haven't yet. But um, you could also... Also, that would be crazy if you watched this first and then you went and watched it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's actually, a power you know, move. You actually, that's that. kind of a power yeah. move. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, but yeah, we're just going to read some comments, chill, hang out, talk about the episode that we filmed. Um, and I'm really excited. So thanks, guys, for being here. Appreciate yeah, no it. Problem. Of course. Um, obviously, we got all, all four of us are on camera here. We got the two mm -hmm. cameras set up, but Pepper is also here, as you normally are. I just, am. Our off camera Disembodied. queen, our Baldur's yeah, Gate yeah. free narrator, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yo, that's pretty good too. Um, so I think just in general, I just want to kind of jump into. It. Have, have you guys watched it yet? The full yeah. thing? Mm. Yeah, I haven't watched the full thing, but I've like kind of no, no, no. I, I didn't jumped around, right? Of course, and I, you know, I wasn't like expecting you all to have to. I've watched, I watched it, it twice. But, holy shit! Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, like actively, like held your phone or had your monitor in front of your face and just watched the whole thing. That's, oh, I, can't, I can't do dude, that. Dude, that's crazy. It's definitely second screen content. Like yeah. it's long. No. Like you, I, that's crazy. You raw dogged a <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 dungeon delve. First that's pretty crazy. Time was yesterday morning, and I sat there on my phone for like an hour and a half just watching it, and then. The other time was this morning when Jose wanted to watch it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I could see doing it as like a watch party thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. if I was with people and yeah. Jacob or Jacob was like, yo, Jenny Nicholson just uploaded a new f six hour video Dude. essay. I'd be like, bro, watch party. Let's do it <laughs> Let's now. Let's have a sleepover and do I'm it now. so down. <laughs> yo, that's. Yo, um, Jenny, drop it. We're ready. <laughs> when I first watched it. Uh, I hadn't actually seen all of it all at once because I edited it in chunks. Mm -hmm. And by the time I got to the end, I was like, I don't have enough time to spend an hour and a half yeah. watching it all the way through. But this last pass that I did through it was good enough. So mm -hmm. hopefully yeah. it's fine. It's, and so it's funny because when you uploaded um, the Tomb of Horrors one, we yeah. watched it before you uploaded it. And there was just a gap where there was nothing for like probably like two minutes. And then <laughs> you edited it out. Yeah. And then, uh, and then you told me, oh, I just, I had to upload it. Like I didn't have time to watch it. And I was like, well, good, good, <laughs> well, good. And then we watched it through and there wasn't any of them. So I was like, Whoo. yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that was lucky. Next yeah. time, I, I have a better schedule now. The way that yeah. I edited these past two has been really bad, borderline unhealthy. But I have a borderline. better schedule now about how I'm going to edit <laughs> yeah. them, which has been good. It's just that everything kind of got crammed in this past month or so. And it's just how it was. If it, it could have been any video, it would have been the same way. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, what did what you guys think of it? Just kind of as a whole, kind of, I guess, what's your guys' perspective on... On, I'm not waiting to hear like <laughs> tell me how great it was but like how what your guys perspective on playing it and then now seeing it sort of like edited down like is it does it feel different to you or is it like is it like whoa I didn't expect it to be like 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 it, so it was together. fun to see like what bits you kept in mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. what definitely not what was funny but like right. I mean it, you typically leave the funnier bits in and edit yeah. out the this is boring we're walking down a hallway we fight some rats it's so hard to not keep everything in. Like yeah. there's so many times where I'm like, I'm so, I feel so bad that I have to cut this out. Like one part I really wanted to leave in, but I couldn't just because it was, it was, there was so much time already. And I, I just, it needed to go was, um, uh, you, you're messing around in the ash trying to look for stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, Steven, stop fucking around on the ash. And you're like, coming. And you follow <laughs> after. And, you're, and then you do this bit with like a hanky where you're, where you're like, uh, is there anything on my face? And you're like, uh, and you're like, oh, oh yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> and then Fontaine gives Steven a hanky and you go like this. And you're like, is it gone? And you're like, yep. 
<laughs> and you guys described that like only like this. What did what just happened? He caught a mosquito. Nice dude. Oh my god. Um, and that wow. part was so funny. I loved it, but it it had no bearing on the yes. game itself. And it was it was like five minutes, and I was like, dang, I have to cut this out because mm -hmm. like I it also it it was really nice for the section that it cuts out because it's directly Meepo goes like you can meet Ustrail, and then we're meeting Ustrail, mm -hmm. and that's in the middle. And I was like, yeah, it has to mm -hmm. go, but it's in the vod, and it's mm -hmm. funny, but. Mm -hmm. I thought you did uh like coming from tomb of horrors to this one it feels like much more cinematic oh, than thanks. the last one like i love like kind of the 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 anime intro we got where we got Dude, to see yeah. little moments so epic. um out of context Dude. and then kind of see where that goes that was really fun the to game watch. was just cinematic oh it like, really was, I was it just, was a nutso game it was so crazy <laughs> i was like this is so insane and i yeah thank you i appreciate that um so that was cool i loved the um i loved the like I don't know what, what what was it. It was like, can you survive the sunless Citadel? <laughs> or, or can we survive level yeah, yeah, one? Yeah, like, yeah. like that, like intro tagline was great. Thanks. Um, I think it was very a very good idea for you to, of course, like separate like the like the wheat from the chaff encounters, where it was like, okay, this is basically what happened. Like they fought these guys and then they went through here and then they came back and then they went through here and then they went back. It's like, okay, of course. So that like whole think, section where you guys were on the mm -hmm. on that one side and you like fell you guys short rested and then you fell into the trap where you like fontaine short rests regains five hit points falls down a pit and loses five hit yeah. points and then <laughs> it, it, i wanted to keep that in because it was annoying i was like that's stupid like what the hell and then somebody healed you and it was fine but ultimately that whole section had to go because it was so long and there was so much going on that there was no payoff for mm -hmm. it was like this means nothing i have to take it out so yeah but mm -hmm. um but, uh, i appreciate it thanks but i mean yeah it was just very well put together i think I you've, you've just got mm -hmm. a great understanding of like i think the format you're going for here and people seem to really like it thanks so. thanks thanks Definitely. thanks thanks it's very cool seeing everything come together like exactly especially yeah. just because how we film things and then the way i'm like it i don't expect it <laughs> i'm like wow it's crazy how it comes together and works so perfectly dude yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i love there are so many moments that I miss because sometimes I'm reading or I'm prepping the roll 20. So when I get to kind of watch it a second time and be like, Oh, I didn't even hear them do this part. Um, that was that bit with the ash. Like I, I don't <laughs> even remember that. But when I was editing, I was like, God, that's really funny. Man, that's, and the whole time I'm just staring. Man, at that's so like, funny that you didn't hear it. Cause I dead ass did that for you. I dude, like, stop dude, talking with the microwave. microwave. <laughs> yeah, dude, the fucking microwave. Was, well, when I was editing, I was like, that's really there funny. Go. I got to appreciate it. I hit in there for dude, you. It's so funny. <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was really great. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Um I yeah, it's great. 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 I oh, just um I don't I don't know. It always feels like a fever dream whenever I, I go back and watch it because um to some degree we've recorded these like, you know, already. Mm -hmm. Um and some degree we yeah. we we're, we're doing other stuff and, and I guess for us it's it's just that one Thursday we did forever ago. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's crazy to experience it again because it doesn't half the times it, I'm able to like watch like you're talking about bits that we missed i don't think i got to see a lot of what like um like the other side of the table did or some other small little mm -hmm. quibs that you're able to highlight and it's mm -hmm. just a lot of fun because it's just i only have one set of eyes but it's really cool to be able to record it because then you have several oh my god yeah. it's very cool yeah. but but sometimes it doesn't feel so real, like, I, real to me unlike the tomb of horrors where i oh, that was just supposed to be a test episode that we turned into an episode mm. which yeah. is why it was so hard to edit mm. um this time I, I did the audio with our soundboard and I was able to split up everybody's audio, which was huge because anytime there was crosstalk, I could eliminate it. And that mm. was so nice. Like if you watch the video and then you watch the VOD, you might be able to tell that there's like moments where it's like, that's, you can hear that in the main edit, but in the, in the VOD, mm. it's like all kind of put together. Yeah. And that's because I was able to be like, Jack's talking in the middle of this. I'm getting rid of it. And that and, and that's happens. fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's totally fine. Like I'm not discouraging you guys or anything. It's just like, it was nice for me editing being like, oh, I can just get Emma's audio here. Mm. And it's, it's really cool. Um, yeah. There was that bit where, where you're like, um, guys, I'm a little bit scared. And <laughs> while you're saying that, um, you two are talking about having a parasol, which is also funny. And I yeah. wanted to keep yeah. it. But you're talking about like, what if you like Princess Peach parasol yeah. down, and then you're like, that's a great idea. I'm gonna save that for a character idea sometime. And I was like, oh, I didn't even. I, I got to like hear that and be like, yeah. that's funny that they were yeah. talking about that. That's Princess cool. Princess Peach, that'd mm -hmm. be so sick. Yeah, down the Sunless Citadel. Just play. yo, we should have an episode. We all play Mario characters. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. Rosalina. Oh. Done.
Hell yeah. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I'm going to go grab something really quick. Oh, go for it. Go for it. So um, you were talking about it, though, that it, it was a Thursday forever ago. Um, yeah. it, it was like, I think, at least a month that yes. we recorded that oh, yeah. to when it went up, yeah. mm-hmm. um, which is kind of the timeline for, for these episodes. It's not that the, th- the, the, the events happening in it are like so uneventful that I just don't think about it. Yeah. It's like we have that Dungeon Delve. Um, there's uh, 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 there, there's a part two to some degree with that dungeon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then we do two more D and D games, and then we do two more different D and D games. Mm-hmm. And we go two more it just pre- all like, kind of shuffles that, together. To yeah. the time yeah. that I've seen it, we have done sixteen different live shows of D and D, and yeah. that to me feels like that was two hundred years ago. Yeah. yeah, for real. You guys should go back and find out the first time we were like starting to say a little longer because we started yeah. fucking referencing it, it in so our streams, and I was like. <laughs> Men's yet go back and count all the references to Sunless Citadel yeah. and, and freaking other arcade oh arcade God. media. Yeah, wasting my time. Yeah, yeah wasting mm-hmm. my time. I was referencing it with Mia that I don't know if it, I'm glad because I got to see it in his completion now, and it definitely is not the way I thought it was. But if somebody was worried about, is this even funny? Like, yeah. is any of that yeah. fucking even relevant? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, but honestly, I've just been with it for a month. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know if it's funny. So it seems exactly. like old news to us. Yeah. 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 yeah, everyone's like, "Oh, this is great." I'm like, "Thank God," because I was really putting a lot of weight on. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> on it's even meme. it's so hard, especially when um I watch it probably more than a dozen times, like every bit, yeah. because of the amount of passes I have to go through when I go through it, and it it's not funny by the time I get yeah. to the end of it. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, it's I've heard this joke a hundred times, and so I, it's stupid because then my brain gets into a cycle of like, when I watch it, I'm not really being entertained by it anymore, yeah. and I'm like, oh, the video's boring, yeah. and it's yeah. Yeah. every time I go to you, you and I'm yeah, like- Yeah, you messaged me like a day or two before you put it out, and you were like, this isn't good, this is terrible. Like. <laughs> it's not gonna do it's not gonna perform as well and it's like you've because you've watched it 10 times yeah 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 and yeah. uh then when i kind of when I, when we watched because i got to watch it with you and colton like yeah. all the way through and so it was like ooh, i also get to watch it um and watching it with the two of you who had never watched it all the way through and Col- colton hadn't even seen any yeah. of it mm-hmm. and the pu- the parts that he thought was funny i was like Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. cool. It's just that Thank I've God. seen it a hundred times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of wanted to read through some of like the top comments of the video, which I thought would be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then to, and then also I had a questions post that I posted on the main channel. Mm-hmm. There's some pretty cool wow. questions in there that we'll get through, but Arcane Arcade podcast post on XP, on XP. To level three. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Wow. Um, the streams are crossing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'll, I'll, let me touch on that just for a second. It's been really cool because that was kind of the goal when I mm-hmm. first wanted, when I first kind of pitched it to you guys where I was like, I want to, the biggest thing I want to do here is I want to find a way to merge these two. Mm-hmm. I want to bring Arcane Arcane and XP to level three together because I work almost equally as hard on both. Mm-hmm. And I want people to be able to see this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, at first I was like, I don't know, it probably won't work in the first few months, dude. It's yeah. been huge. Yeah. Um, the episode that went up, Tomb of, ever since Tomb of Horrors and Sunless Citadel have gone up on Arcane Arcade, we've had a lot of viewership le- wow. recently, and it's been awesome. Like, thank you yeah. for being yeah. here and watching our streams and stuff. That's awesome. Like, that's that's great. It's really cool. So, um, accomplished. Mm-hmm. It's pretty great. So, uh, the top comment is, yeah. absolutely love the mockumentary style, oh, mockumentary style of D&D VODs. I know it's a lot of work, but this is the first time I've actually enjoyed watching other people play D&D, and that's huge. That means so mm-hmm. much. So, like, thank you guys so much. Um, sure. I really love the style. Like, at first, I wanted it to almost follow, like, um, kind of, like, inspired very much, like, by Game Nights and the mm-hmm. way that they do their thing. But I like that we've almost shifted into ca- it being, like, Parks and Rec slash The Office, mm-hmm. where I like that we can cut and you guys have really played into, like, foreshadowing in your, um, in your confessionals, where, like, you'll, you'll say, like, uh, there was one where you, you kept doing it where it was after, so we filmed them after. Yeah. And so, after everybody had died, we filmed the one in, uh, uh, Pepper, you kept doing, like, a, like, yeah, it would really suck if, like, we didn't have this information anymore and we all died. And it's like tough in the moment. It's like, haha. But when I was editing, I was like, this is great. Cause you're mm-hmm. foreshadowing to yeah. that in the video in the future. And it, it, it's just great footage. So uh, you guys have really played into it so well. And I, I absolutely love it. Um, very popular comment. I see a lot of is it killed my friends and Steven. Yeah. Classic <laughs> like, this detail is hilarious. <laughs> Th- that was really funny. Dude. We, I remember uh, when we, we finished recording and I was, we kept saying it. Like we just thought that that was so good. I, I'm glad. Cause I felt, I felt like I said it too much, almost, <laughs> but I don't think like watching the video back and then like, 
seeing that people thought that that was funny. Yeah. I was like, okay, good. I didn't say it too much. Um, I was afraid of that too when I was editing it, but then it, when, it, when I heard them, when it went through, I was like, no, it's perfect. Oh, yeah, it's cool, really cool, good. Cool, yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I like the first one because the first one is a little subtle. It's, uh, it's, there's no like ob- obvious laugh with it because it's the, it's the, oh, it's the confessional floor one, yeah. and you just say it. And I was like, that's really good. Mm-hmm, it's really good. Mm-hmm, um, yeah. uh, another one is, uh, it, th- I love this comment. Uh, in a world where D and D shows formats have become maybe a tad stale, this is a really unique take on the format. Really nice work, and I was just like, "That's a huge compliment. Yeah. Like that's yeah. absolutely huge." Mm-hmm. Um, because, I mean, we feel it. Like we 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 are basically another D and D podcast, just just streaming, know, yeah. doing our thing, and like we've been at the bottom of the barrel, been like 10, 20 viewers, being like, "We're just kind of doing our thing." So to hear that is like absolutely huge. Yeah, super. Um, yeah. This one says, "Start Jacob, starting to level one is fun. Title, everyone died in the Sunless Citadel. Jacob, mewing noises. <laughs> That's insane. Um, this one says, uh, uh, Jacob, starting at level one is actually a lot of fun. Proceeds to read off a list of reviews about how the Sunless Citadel is a good tutorial dungeon meant to, to get new players into the game or for fresh faces to mess around with. Me, looks at the title claiming everyone dies. All right, this will be good. <laughs> Yeah, I think the the clickbait title was very well done. Thanks. Like, definitely get people interested because people love fucking drama. They love the mm-hmm. the TPK, mm-hmm. all the terrible RPG right. stories that are out there. So, you and know. that was never the point. Mm-hmm. We did not go into that episode yeah. being like everybody's gonna die. In right. Course. I didn't even go into it mm-hmm. with that. I was yeah. like, I'm because pr- there's a strategy behind the dragon that I think you're supposed to take. I might get into later, but um, they, I, I didn't expect that. So when that suddenly became what it was at the end, I was like, oh, this is the episode. Mm-hmm. Like, that's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this one says, uh, can't wait for the next game where Spencer plays as an NB character named Fella or Pal. <laughs> that's a, that's great. Yeah. Did yeah. you fucking wait? I'm just cooking <laughs> on something and I don't know what yeah. this connective tissue we have for uh, Dungeon Delve is, but you're number one Writing the Chronicles for yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know where yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one says, I know everyone dying sucks, but honestly, that made a really interesting and cool story overall and have the cleric of Lathander a great role play moment at the end. I thought it was epic as a one shot. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Jack, you made that so cool at the end. I'm glad. Dude, I'm the glad. way when you- I felt really bad that everybody else died, oh. but I was like, all right, like I'll commit to the bit and like make this as as you know memorable as possible because i've never been i've never had that happen ever in my D games where like almost the entire party yeah. or the entire party died yeah never had a tpk before so like having that moment i'm like okay like i gotta i gotta honor you know the groundwork that was laid by by these three <laughs> um i gotta and and i was like i could just run away and then that's it but i'm like no fuck that man like it was like, so good I, this, this is i gotta make this memorable so it was I'm, so I'm, cool I, it, it it went it it was crazy yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, go ahead no i was just gonna say i don't think dying sucks very much uh it's kind of it's fun being <laughs> someone who dies a lot um <laughs> it's <laughs> it's fun it's a good time and it's, i think somebody does come comp- or said it and i don't know if you're gonna read it or not but they said that a lot of people remember failures more than successes and i was like yeah, yeah that's what makes yeah. it fun mm-hmm. that is true mm-hmm. and that it's true. fun to have these disposable characters that's ex- that's what i was gonna say yeah. is that it's it's better for something like this than for something like arcane arcade where we spend so much time mm-hmm. and yeah. and like actual currency on our characters <laughs> where, to where it's like if somebody dies it's not always feasible yeah. to just be like well that happened yeah. you know yeah. because yeah. we we spend so much time getting to know them and role playing them out and yeah. spending money on art and stuff like that but when it's fucking dungeon delve it's like man throw three in there and blend them up like yeah. let's yeah. let's see what happens you, you know? guys really played into that too there was so much of you guys being like, I really like these characters. Can we keep these characters? Yeah, and no, like, oh. yeah. and, like in the moment, I was like, yeah, this is fun. The, the, like that made it hurt so much more <laughs> exactly. when everybody died. Exactly. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this comment says, a point of an empty room is to search check and used to take 10 minutes. Um, it ate up time and made you burn through more tor- torches and to get into more random encounters. Oh. Because I was talking about how oh, I don't like empty rooms. And I'm like, honestly, that's dumb. I don't care. <laughs> cool explanation. I still think it's dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for the extra context, though. I don't know. Yeah, maybe yeah. if we were really, really, really keeping track and really anal about that. Like, we mm. have torches, and this is how yeah. many, yeah. and how yeah. long we are searching for, and 
But we're not Because always... everybody knows every single torch that has ever existed always lasted for like 10 minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm definitely keeping track of that in it, my inventory and stuff. That's the hard part is it's like for a Dungeon Devil episode, I'd want to keep track of that, but it's so hard to keep track of it. Yeah. Like even when you're playing by the rules and doing it like this, like it, it's really difficult to be like, has it been 10 minutes? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't and, know. Es and especially considering that we're already on a tight time frame as it is, adding yeah, yeah. in like a scarcity thing mm -hmm. would just overcomplicate things unnecessarily. There is an episode I want to do about that in the future where we like really go hardcore on tracking everything, but I feel like if that's the point day. of the video that's right, different. Right, right. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 but also how many real life campaigns do that? Like there are probably some out there, but how many people are really playing right, like that? Right, right. I think it's a great um, point that it was making. Dungeon Delve itself can be kind of anecdotal at times, because mm -hmm. um, because clearly we're like Dungeon Delve is not the game that we're going to play for <laughs> months on end. <laughs> right. So like we kind of just, but it, I think in that way that it exists, it really amplifies like actual situations that people will find ourselves to. Like, yeah. like it's yeah. funny because it happens to us, and it's okay because mm -hmm. Stephen was made twenty minutes ago or whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> like if someone else didn't. And they really cared about it. And it was their first like character they made and that got munched on by a dragon. You're like, <laughs> that could be a problem. Yeah. yeah. Or some, yeah. you know, you set up your kids and you're like, let's play. And then you're walking around in empty rooms for 13 hours. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. It's like your, your fucking torch is gone. Sorry, kid. <laughs> I, think, I think it just really uh, emphasizes those moments that other people could have. Yeah. In mm -hmm. a way that yeah, I think is largely cautionary to go, eh, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. that has a lot of merit, but these are the ones that I think they're, you can see a struggle with already. Yeah. yeah. What I'm really hoping and like what my goal with this too is that like, cause I already feel it just going through it um, and playing it and running it is that like people can look at the module and be like, now I can know what, what will go wrong. And now mm -hmm. I know the parts yeah. that I can improve, mm -hmm. yeah. which is great. I, I like that we can make the sacrifice and like, we can do that so that people can take, if they really want to run Sunless Citadel, they can see it and be like, all right, I, maybe don't put a fucking dragon in there or mm -hmm. maybe Definitely. be level two or something or I don't know. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> Uh, so the, the top comment on the post that I made on the channel says, so with the majority of the party dead, do y'all still want to go with the idea that the party to come will be the canon party for all dungeon delving adventures to come? Love the content. Keep it up. I, so like we referenced like, is like, I was like, oh, is this the canon like dungeon delve party? And like, that would really, <laughs> like, I think it's really fun. It's almost like how in Pathfinder you have like the iconics for each mm -hmm. class and you mm -hmm. see them in all of the art and Yo, stuff yeah. or what they've done in the new 2024 rule books where they have all yeah. the iconics in there as well. Yeah. Like that would be really fun. And I think would give people like some buy-in for like, uh, cause then th that opens up the opportunity for like more role play possibilities mm. and like a greater overarching narrative between these somewhat separate things. But at the same time, it's also pretty fun to just roll up and be like, all right, what kooky characters exactly. have Jacob and his neurodivergent pals <laughs> created for this one? You know, that was a, that was the other title. It was too long. Right. Yeah. 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 Use it. yeah. yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, personally, no, I love our characters and what we've done and everything with them. And those characters were great. But no, I have so many ideas. I have so many mm. dumb, stupid characters that I want to play. <laughs> and I don't think I could stick with Steven forever. Oh, my God. Yeah. I have seen a comment somewhere. I don't even know where it was. Um, where someone talked about like the expanding lore of the videos. And I was like... To go back to what I said earlier, um, Spencer's really, I think, the first like trailblazer for this because of the co the connection that is inevitably going to be like discussed and how it figures out. And mm -hmm. I think that as we get these kind of inside jokes that we have um, now, because mm -hmm. we had one episode, right? As we play more, we'll have even more. That that, that I don't know if the player is going to be necessarily can't or the I should say the the characters are canon, but I do think like the world might be canon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 and that's gonna really expand out I to think be like that's definitely true. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what that means, but there's gonna be all kinds of goofy shit that we're gonna probably. Oh yeah, out. that's fun. Yeah, yeah. I like mm -hmm. that. And then the comment was saying, I would like you guys to expand the lore of the world. And I was like, <laughs> the Dungeon Delve world. I'm on it. Yeah, and I was like, you. Dungeon Delve. Like, just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> the, 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 the canon yeah. implications of the end of uh, Tomb of Horrors to this one is oh massive. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Honestly. It's true. Honestly. Spencer? Oh, I said I'm on it. I'm, I'm, I'm cooking. Oh, okay. I was just more fun. like, do you want to answer the question? Oh, no, I, I don't. I'll play Gal again someday, but I don't want to continue to play her every yeah. game. Yeah. Definitely. I have an idea, but I won't talk about it here. 
I talked about it with him earlier. Damn, that's behind the paywall. It's folks. not behind the paywall. <laughs> yes, join me to members. Patreon.com slash Arcade Arcade. <laughs> Get your name read. On Patreon, I'll just post it on Patreon. <laughs> Here's all my ideas. Yeah. No, it's the deepest paywall. It's You have to work here. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Paywall. You have to join the group. The Jacob has to pay paywall. you, actually. Yeah, you whoa, pay him, yeah. whoa. <laughs> Um, this comment says, just want to say that Dungeon Delve with you five are an absolute joy to watch. Binged both of them on the days they were released and they were such fun. Can't wait for more from you lot. R.I.P. Steve. <laughs> just, just, just Steve. Steve. <laughs> not, not Fontaine or Gal. Yeah. Just, or Meepo. Not, not even, or Erky. And not even Steve. Yeah, not even Steve. Steve. Just Steve. <laughs> Man, he was on a nickname basis. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. They, they, wow. They were they just, really close. Yeah. It's actually. They all go to like high school together. Or? Yeah. yeah I, th- I, I think so. Might have been, um co-workers at one point or something well, steve yeah steven, what did steven work at target no, with this person or something that. yeah uh, <laughs> it's also steven with a ph yeah, so yeah. everyone in the comment spelled steve. it wrong but uh, we didn't give spellings of it so it's fine yeah. <laughs> so i'd like your little tokens i think yeah um how would you see that yeah yeah, zoom yeah. Enhance. <laughs> yeah. enhance computer um, enhanced this computer this computer this car, this, <laughs> this, this, Got him. Ah, ah, Jacob and his neurodivergent friends. Um, <laughs> neurodivergent Jacob and his neurodivergent friends. Uh, this comment says, I think you guys should consider doing every published module this way. It was super fun to watch. Every published module? What does that mean? Guys, I we're, need to We're doing that here. next. I'm sorry, like, are oh we going back God. to like the old TSR ones too? Oh. Like, are we branching into other game systems? <laughs> Like, oh what, my God. what, like, you're gonna have to be more specific. Guys, my, Dungeon Delve is gonna go on for 50 years. 50 years, yeah, Dungeon Delve! Yeah. 500 years, yeah. Dungeon Delve! Yeah, I can't wait to be playing D&D when I'm 77. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I want, like, a fucking oh, And this society has crumbled. Yeah. 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 You want what? Uh, if I die, uh, I want, like, you guys to continue, but, like, there's an effigy in my place. like, 10 years, some, someone else goes, and there's an effigy in there. It's just like a last man standing dungeon deal. That's so funny. That's last so funny. man. Uh, I win. <laughs> Is the, are the cam links working? <laughs> Jacob, we don't use those anymore. Oh, it's it's all connected through your Neuralink brain. And I'm yeah. like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you deactivate and activate it again? <laughs> Jake, Jake. <laughs> Jake, it doesn't work like that anymore. Turning your brain <laughs> off and on again. Put your crochets in, Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, we have a lot of plans. Obviously, I have tons of ideas that I want to do, but there's so much out there that it's like I got to pick and choose. But yeah. I do want to say that um, for the future, I definitely don't. I don't plan to stay in D and D for very long. Like we're gonna do D and D. Obviously, that I'll I'll always come back to it. But like. There's some Pathfinder stuff I want to do. There's some other, um, this is a really cool chance for us to also try some indie TTRPGs out there. Like oh, this, that's fun. then in the future, kind of when we take off a little more, uh, I always wanted it to go in that direction if it was going to work and it does, which is great. great. So, um, no, def- do- totally. I want to, um, there's, there's some Pathfinder stuff I definitely want to do as well. So we'll get there's to it. There's no shortage of material for Pathfinder either. Nope. Those adventure, adventure paths, paths are yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the starter set from Barnes and Noble and mm. I'm like, I, I want that to be like an episode that we just do that. That would be so much fun. You know while it would be? It, Sorry, please continue. Oh, oh, cause it just acts as like a tutorial. That's yeah, basically I was going to say, you know while it would be, you know how like prof, um, the professor from, Mm-hmm. Uh, MTG, um, yeah, the same, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the same. Um, has like uh, dragon shield sleeves, and then there's a sticker that says "Prof approved." You know, mm-hmm. crazy would be if like some, <laughs> it's like some kind of path thing. You're like, oh, my oh God. dungeon delve, did dungeon, this. Yeah. fucking dungeon delve certified. Yeah. 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 That would be crazy. So cool. so it would be so cool working with Paizo. <laughs> no, I know they're coming with uh, Starfinder too soon, Ooh. which is pretty crazy. Oh, I really like Starfinder. Fun. It's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it's taken a lot of inspiration from Pathfinder 2e as well, so. It's pretty cool. Um, this comment, uh, this question says, which character does our cleric of Lathander mourn most? And why is it Meepo? <laughs> um, Meepo. It's not Meepo. I hate to say it. You know, Meepo was a, was a sweet little guy. Um, he had his head chomped. He did. I mean, I think, I think that's the most b- brutal part is I think Meepo had the most brutal death out yeah. of them all because yeah. bro got fucking chomped. I mean, yeah. At least for these three, like I, I feel like I feel like in the moment it happened so fast that Argent probably didn't even see it happen. Yeah. Meepo was killed right in front of yeah, him. Yeah. So like uh, I, I think I think yeah, to a certain extent, Meepo the most because it was the most brutal death. Um, oh, I think it was Gal though. I feel like Argent had like a crush on Gal or something. Oh, oh, dang. Was like, oh my god, I mean, wow. 
Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. It's too late now. <laughs> it's too late. She's oh. gone. No, she's not. I don't know. I don't know. I, I look like I'm a cleric. They should have you not wasted her- each other's time. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you know, we both got that draconic riz. Oh, too. my God. I mean, you actually had the riz, though, because oh you were God, a sorcerer. Oh, my God. The thought of Steven being like, <laughs> uh, you guys should kiss. <laughs> like, shut up, Steven. Steven kiss. ships it. Um, kiss. <laughs> Yeah, so probably okay. Gal the most. Um, Fontaine, oh, of man. course. Uh, Steven, I don't know. He's probably dancing on his grave somewhere. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, I always like how Fontaine feels up the door every time he walks. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I said that. <laughs> God, the fucking, parts. you're fucking, I close my eyes and touch the door. It's is so it still made of wood? <laughs> that is, that's, a top, that's one of the top comments, too. People thought that was so funny. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a thinking God. man's dungeon. Uh, yeah. It's a yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. man's dungeon. Those I feel the door. Um, no, I, I don't think Arjun's dancing on Steven's grave, but I don't think it's any secret that Arjun and Steven did not get along. Steven! Um, I was going what? to redeem you! No, they were yeah. best friends. See, Steven! I was going to redeem him. Uh, that was the, the way you cut that up was yeah. so goddamn I'm funny. Sorry, are you it takes time Steven? for the sun to rise. I, I, I could have saved him. Tay may do Tay. Are you dying of some disease or something? When you say that next line is my favorite fucking thing, you go, I'm sorry, are you ill or something? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Emma is such a great freaking scene partner. You it's so, so, so fun playing oh, off of her I bits. Oh it. my god. It's dangerous sitting next to Jack. I'm like, we're like the kids in school who Oh, 100%. Like, like, you guys can't sit next to each other. Except Jacob's like, no, you guys need yeah. to sit next to each other. We need the bits. <laughs> They're the same way. Yeah. Yeah. They're true. just quieter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys are quiet. And then I'm like, Oh, you guys are being funny right now. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, hey, you missed it. I missed it. I'm gonna quick say something funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Gotta get back on us. I want to talk about Meepo for a second because oh. I had a thing I wanted to say about it. So, um, when I would re- when I read the adventure, I was like, the point of Meepo is that he dies. That is, <laughs> I knew that Meepo was <laughs> going to perish one. horribly Damn. when I read the entirety of the adventure because he goes with you to go get the dragon, and then it specifies like um, the the section that has Calstrix. You know, I talked about in the video how it doesn't specify you can convince her. You can't do anything to. She just stays there, likes her position, and tries to kill any. Anybody who who tries to take her from it mm-hmm. or just anybody who walks in she tries to kill them mm-hmm. but it specifies that if meepo is with the party then she will go and attack him first and kill him so the idea i, I had was that you guys would walk in with and meepo. meepo would just be like you guys are my best friends ah! and just like die horribly <laughs> gets dragged into the room <laughs> that was the screwed. that was the goal was uh-huh. that he was it, it wasn't supposed to be fontaine it was supposed to be meepo's like i think she might be over here in this in this treasure and then you guys see the dragon show up and then meepo's like uh oh and then dies and mm. that was that was the goal like from the beginning was that was I wanted to make Meepo really sweet and lovable so that I kill him horribly later mm-hmm. and then I think the idea is that that's a whole turn you exactly. get on the dragon exactly. yeah. and if it would have been the initiative that we would have rolled Calstrix went last meaning all of you would have had time to get your you know you all missed but you would have drank your fire breath potion yep. Meepo would have died you guys would have gotten an entire turn, turn to kill her and then it, it's likely that you guys would have mm-hmm. been able to knock her unconscious but because you left Meepo behind I was like oh, yeah. um, this will probably be fine why wouldn't she use her breath weapon oh shit um, I, ge- I genuinely had forgotten how much damage a, a wormling Surprising, surprisingly honestly. high because you see wormling and i'm like well they could probably handle it and What's then the when like, i roll that first damage i'm like yeah. oh my god it's 36 damage yeah, like and three then times you're, like, the you're, average. Like, you're gonna kill the whole party right now yeah. and i was like oh! three times the average char- starting character's hit <laughs> yeah. points yeah uh, what cr is a is a two two or four two or four something like that but i mean to some degree that is via old cr which doesn't work and we mm-hmm. all know traditionally right. never works mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. that still would mean a cr2 creature needs four level twos to deal with it and it would still be an equivalent fight. Yeah. So we're starting at already a huge deficit. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. But um, yeah, that was the whole point there. But there was another thing with that, which a lot of comments have pointed out, which we're going to do at the end of the episode. What time are we at right now? 34. 34. So at the end of the episode, if you're still here, uh, I there, there was a little rules miscalculation that happened. Oh? You had casted Guiding Bolt on Calstrix. Uh. And that would have meant that Meepo would have had advantage on attacking her mm. because that's what Guiding Bolt does and I didn't roll with advantage. Are you gonna roll with advantage? So, um, we're at the end of the episode, I am going to I I am going to roll oh, Meepo's to second see if roll he would have hit. and then I'm going to roll his damage if and he hits. uh what? If he hits. If he hits. Yeah. And if he would have done more than well, he would have had to do like 
20 something damage, which he can't do. So Meepo is definitely still dead. Um, well, well, hold on. Hadn't I already hit Kelsrix like, at that point? And you're like, oh man, she's like barely up. I think she oh, because I think she had four hit points yeah. left. So she may have had the four hit point. Oh, yes. So that's, it's entirely, that's the guiding bolt. It's entirely so if feasible. So ha- does, he has to roll max damage. If he rolls max damage. It's possible. It's then, a d4. Then we will have a split timeline where that we may oh return God. to. A split timeline where, where Meepo, Meepo should have hit and killed her. And it would have been you and Meepo who oh lived. Oh my God. How dumb. <laughs> Arena of time, yeah. yeah. Time and that time, time line, break. I I play Meepo. Oh my god, I, you I can play Meepo. Meepo. Yeah. Holy shit! I, become I am becoming Meepo. Become yeah. with Meepo. Destroyer of dragons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, hell yeah, that's fun. A, that's, so, at the end of the episode, we'll roll it. We'll roll it. And see what happens. Man, I'm so excited for us to like talk this up and talk about this alternate timeline, <laughs> only for you to like roll a two. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just missed anyways. Uh, yeah. Meepo. Um. Uh. <clears throat> this. This person's name is Incredible Fat Slug, and they oh, put nice. I love this just, series. You've but... struck gold, <laughs> and I I wanna I just wanna t- touch on that for a second because that is how I feel when I'm editing the video. I'm like, this is actually it feels like I've struck gold. This is so cool. Mm-hmm. Like, um, yeah, that's so yes. Thank oh, you yeah. for saying that because I also feel that way. After we finished that session, every time you get it, it, the once once. A little longer happened, and you were like crying, laughing. Oh, I was like, God. "This is something." It's really always so special. satisfying yeah. to get you to laugh because <laughs> so I feel fun. like you don't. Not that you don't laugh very often, but I think it takes a Can lot. Can we break that down actually for a second? Yeah. Why was that so funny? I don't. I think. I think it was because, and even the way that you edit it, I think illustrates what what was happening, right? Because I think that the scene itself would have been already funny and complete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, to go he's in the corner he's out of the corner he asks to leave the corner and we both go in simultaneous yes yeah. and then it's just you just subvert a- any possible expectation and you're like a little longer <laughs> that, that's also relatable who hasn't been a time out and you're like can I go in like no no just, just a little bit longer yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's just like it's just an incredibly absurd thing to happen it's, in, in, front of, yes. in front of an enemy leader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The entire thing. Unified front true. in front of the enemies, guys. Yeah. Unified front in front was, of our rivals. I think it's... I think it, yeah, go ahead. I was so happy that you ran with that because I was like, I'm telling Emma's character to go in the corner. <laughs> yeah. under, like, we didn't talk about this before. And no. you're just like, he, he goes, he goes, yes. and he just, he's sad. And there's one there. Dude, yeah, you said that. And we all just were like, yep, yep. That's, that's what happens. happens. Yeah, and then happens. you turn happens. your confessions. And yes, and, yeah. <laughs> you turn your confessions. You're like, yeah, we have to send him into the corner. Yeah. So. <laughs> he has some behavioral <laughs> issues. Oh, yeah. my God. Like, yep. Yeah. Like this happened. This has happened multiple times before. Too. I think that's why it's so funny is because yeah. n- we came up with it in the. You guys came up with it in the moment yeah. where it was not established, and yeah. then it happened, <laughs> and then everybody played into it. And Jack is that final like like the thought that like okay like haha go in the corner, Stephen. But then now we solidified that he is in the and was like. Can I come out of the corner now? And now it's like, oh, he's been like in the corner the whole time. Like, yes. And then Jack's like, no, nope, a little long. <laughs> like, we, oh, we've not only, re- we've really established he's been in the corner this whole time. <laughs> and Arjun has been watching him being like, that little son of a bitch, you better take your fucking time over there. <laughs> uh, it's so good. I, it's so good. There, there, there are two things here that it's that Liam O'Brien thing where he talks about D and D. You can make decisions that happen in reverse in time. Yes, yes. where you guys at the table decide something and that it becomes true for all of history. Yeah, yeah. And, this whole which time just establishes it. Yeah, yeah. And which is super cool. Put in the corner, a way yeah. you can like narratively yes and with each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's that thing about like laughing. I don't know if it's true, but it's the thing I always hear where like your brain tries to hear a joke and then tries to complete the synapse yeah. to anticipate where it's going, and then when the pay- when the payoff happens, your brain completely like annihilates that synapse because yeah, that's yeah. not true and it's trying to then understand the new one <laughs> and then that fizzle creates the laugh yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> i think that's exactly just it i just <sighs> didn't see it going anywhere near that yeah and then jack just gives you the fucking banger and i'm like oh, oh i'm, dead. I'm yeah. dead it's super yeah. fucking funny yeah. uh, you were like, i had cooked. never I'm so fucking cooked. seen you laugh that hard you before. were you yeah, were for, cooked yeah, yeah, for yeah, like yeah. a dude, couple minutes it was, there it dude, was so for 30 funny. minutes i was fucked up i was so glad that it got edited out <laughs> I, I was over there going 
<laughs> 30 minutes. I was so mad about it. Oh my see. god. Yeah, oh. I, I it was funny. It was funny. And then what made it infinitely funnier was that you were laughing so hard. Yeah. I think when really I'm funny. laughing and I do that, when I like turn, I'm like squinting my eyes, I'm like, I'm now laughing at you. Because yeah. you yeah, thought you're... it was so funny, and I was like, that's this awesome. This is how it was last ascend when Spencer started laughing. I wasn't even laughing because it was funny, I was laughing because Spencer was thought it was oh so fun. God. Yeah, and she was laughing because oh, I was dude. laughing. So it was this horrible vicious yeah. loop that I was just laughing Kevin having rocks in her shoes. It was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so dumb, dude. Oh my god. Oh, and I feel, I feel like too with like establishing the lore because like you were like this is already a far cry from our like or like a far far reach from our two of Annihilation or two of uh, Horus yeah. characters where it's like man these are just some level 20 fuckheads who yeah. we just yeah. like kind of yeah. threw together. Yeah. But then it's like we're establishing lore we're establishing like relationships between these characters yeah. and it makes that sting of losing almost everyone yeah. kind of yeah. hit harder. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's really funny how that all sort of came to be. I yeah. think that's also some degree it's funny because we're also learning it in the moment. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. It's they new made for up everyone. And half of us didn't like it was two people playing together, but the other three at the table don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. So then we establish it and then one just plays into it and it just gets funny. Yeah, it's funny. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. So good. It, it's it's one joke told by five people and it's just really oh funny. My god. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. There's um there's a time when we do that and it's it Oh, and I loved playing the kobolds and then being just like they just didn't know anything because the book doesn't really specify how much they know, but it specifies how much the goblins know and all the other characters. It, but the kobolds weirdly know like absolutely nothing. So I played into that being like, well, then anytime you guys ask them a question, they're just like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. And you're like, so the, the my favorite is like when you're like, so you could start. You have a dragon. Yep. Cool. Uh, <laughs> they, they aren't no supposed. No context. Yeah, there's no context. There's no history. There's no. Uh, there's no story in there that explains how they got the dragon. There's like, yeah, we have one. Go get it. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> and Very, I, like it Skyrim was, level. Yeah, yeah. And I love that you guys played board. into that. Yeah, yeah. it was so you have fun. To go and not get knowing my dragon. where the key goes. <laughs> you did like, oh, Yeah. You, you've never you just have tried. this key. And you just never have tried. this key, and you're like, I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'm not yeah. gonna try like, it. We're not very anything. curious. No, because like, oh, okay. <laughs> my thought they don't explain, but my thought is that like the kobolds just like shiny things. For so sure. it's just like, oh, it's shiny. That makes People sense. might want to buy yeah. this. Yeah. You're like you don't know where that goes. And what I thought was like, her she had one track brain was just like it's shiny and they'll want it. And then you're like, then put it in her head that oh. This might this actually has more use to me. Maybe it's not for sale. And then that th- I think that's my favorite. I laughed at that so many times editing through when you're like, Steven, way to go, Steven. God damn it, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> that is so goddamn funny. I don't know why. All three of you just be like, uh, you know, like all, side by side by you're side, the, just like Steven. <laughs> you're the kid that's like, uh B- Mr. Smith, we had an assignment <laughs> yeah, to turn. Yeah. It's like Steven, you Steven. suck so Steven. much. It's like, uh, what did I do? Damn, Literally what uh, you guys. Um, funny. This comment says, as, "It's funny." Yeah, as someone who's used the Sunless Citadel as the base for multiple games, how I fixed the dragon problem was have it with the cult. Was have it with the kobold when they find him. I also made it a fairy dragon disguising itself as a white dragon Ooh, to have fun with these mortal creatures. Uh, that's, that's that's a awesome. really cool idea. I, I love like that. that. That's yeah. Cute. Hey, didn't I see some people comment? And you might get to one of these, but I saw some people comment that in the original module for third edition, the wormling's breath weapon does one d six damage. Whoa, oh, really? Yeah. Oh man, so that makes I, way I more I, I, sense. I, again, you know, I source trust me, bro. <laughs> but mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I, I haven't read the original. That makes sense. Thing, that makes a but lot it's like, more sense. Apparently, it's like size tiny. <laughs> like it's a small little dragon. It's a little or tiny something. thing. Dang. I don't know. So I again source. I, trust me bro i i i didn't i had read the original tomb of horrors i got the original sunless citadel but skimmed through it Mm -hmm. in case there was a point that didn't make sense to me because sometimes the yawning portal has a weird way of describing things yeah and so i would reference back to the original to be like how's it explained here and then go oh that makes more sense and then come back to the original but i didn't i didn't even think to look at that that's a great idea yeah I just have that on my computer. I should look it up after this, but yeah, <clears throat> um, that's a really cool idea. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, this comment. Sa- this question says, I'm going to mention, I have only played D and D once or twice. 
and it got abandoned pretty early and don't really watch D&D shows. But your editing style, a lot The Office in the latest episodes and the previous one is really digestible for someone who only scratches the surface of D&D material. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Kept me absolutely engaged throughout the entire episode's duration. I don't know if there's anything else like it, but I'm really looking forward to seeing more content like that. Hope you guys are having fun and that you're enjoying the process, even if I imagine somewhat tedious slash time consuming to edit. Um, <clears throat> also unrelated, but if you ever make a collab with Zach the Bold, I'll die. Oh, I've definitely talked to uh, Zach the Bold before. We have are just both very busy and um, have no time, but we'll set up something sometime for sure. That'd be cool to get him for an episode. He's another creator, so we'll see. But um, nice. thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's um, I think the other part, too, is that you guys also keep it so snappy. Like when you have a bit, whenever I'm editing, I'm like, oh, good. They've moved on. I can like go back in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes you don't get that with D&D games. Sometimes we just sit on something for so long. But you guys really know how to like keep the pace. And mm -hmm. it's just it's great. Well, our, it's you've great. put a lot of trust in us in that regard. I remember when we were first talking about doing this project, you were like, I want it to kind of have that game changer like dimension 20 like esque thing where it's yeah. like it's like i'm asking you guys to be funny but like i also want you guys to like follow through with yeah. like completing yeah. this and i mm -hmm. i think we you know you thank you for giving us that direction yeah. and you know i think we're all doing a pretty good job of handling yeah. that yeah. so that's also why I was like, I'm going to pay you guys for this as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, full disclosure. I don't actually force you guys to, to play it. I uh, yeah. I asked very nicely and then went, I'll, I'll pay you to be there also. <laughs> Please play the two before <laughs> I think it's also the fact that it's so fast is because we know like, okay, we have today and we have the next time we film and yeah. that's all that we're going to get with mm -hmm. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah. with to get our this. campaigns, it's like, okay, well, if this doesn't get finished here, we'll have We'll play again in two weeks. Yeah, there's gonna yeah. be like fifty episodes of this. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's there's four of you doing that, and it's just yeah. really cool to like see you guys just really play into that and work like a little machine. Damn, it's so cool. Um, <clears throat> what would everyone other than Steven do if they managed to capture the Dragonling alive? <laughs> everyone, except they don't want to know what you want to do. <laughs> Ste <laughs> Steven is still dead, obliterated in a single Sub Zero instant, <laughs> and no longer able to stab the Dragonling on a whim. <laughs> Whoa! Obliterated, just fucking <laughs> path to yeah. exile. We finish that oh, combat shit. and you well, just get snapped like in that's in crazy. Infinity War. That's canon. That's in every universe. <laughs> he's, he's, always died. Died. he's always dead. Damn. 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 Yeah, it's Doctor Strange. Is that your fate to just yeah. always yeah. die? He's like, like mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what? God, <laughs> there's zero, <laughs> zero times where Stephen lives. That's pretty <clears throat> funny. Yeah, so they're posing the hypothetical. No. Steven dies, but th let's say the two of you, the damage gets super low balled and you end up living. Yeah. Oh. And, and then we manage to subdue, the, the, dragon. subdue the, the dragon. If the, the damage was one point less, Gal would have lived. He would have been unconscious. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. She'd want that key because she wants to map the entirety of the of the sunless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So probably the key. Mm -hmm. Like, there's your dragon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that that that's definitely something too. There's a whole unknown side of that dungeon that we can't even get to that we were mm -hmm. like shown really early on. Now we, I mean, that's definitely super interesting to go back and try and yeah. figure it out. Plus, I don't have to try and pick lock something if there's a key to a door. Yeah, <laughs> so it just works out. <laughs> the it, it's really interesting to think about what would happen after that because the sunless the the book doesn't specify what happens after you give the dragon back. Yeah, they don't have a working cage. So you guys would have brought it back, and I think I, I like the way I would have played it would have been yeah. like, okay, oh, uh, we have nowhere to put it. Um, put it on another chain. Yeah, no. And then it would have just fucking killed kill all of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I yeah. don't think it would have worked out. I think there's a out. lot of moments <laughs> in, in us playing this module that we've discovered that it wasn't really fully thought out a whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a, a quick little quib where, I don't know who says it, it might be Spencer that mentions the fact that they live a hallway apart and they haven't started a uh, yeah. war. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, honestly... I don't think anyone even thought about that more than a second. Yeah. Because that, that's another point. The dragon would have just been loose. There is a, yeah. there is, so it, it, you know where the long chamber is where you guys met Eustrail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a door at the end of it. That door goes into a hallway that has a pit trap in it and caltrops. That door connects to this big area with a bunch of goblins in it. They're actually closer than that. Yeah. They're, they have one hallway that literally goes into where each other live and just are like, we'll just trap that and make sure nobody makes their way through. It's ridiculous. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, as far as like the alternate timeline where we subdue the dragon, 
Um, I think that, that thing that, that Arjun talks about where he's like, this dragon is too dangerous to be left alive. Yeah. Like, I feel like, I feel like that was Arjun's like moral conflict going into this is that if we give this dragon to the kobolds and they like keep it forever and it grows into a fucking yeah, ancient adult. dragon, oh, yeah, that's like true. what the fuck does that mean for future <laughs> generations? Right. Or even just a young dragon, like a young white dragon, I think is like CR six or something. So like, like it's, it's like. You know, like, is, yeah, the key, but, like, is it worth, like, the risk that this thing poses by by being alive? But yeah. then that brings the, the, moral, the moral complication of, like, well, can the dragon help that it is so dangerous? Like, it was given life on this world, too. Like, mm -hmm. what, you know, so, like, it, it was definitely something that I was mulling over in my head. And I think I was just like, I'm just going to do whatever the, the party wants to do because this is Dungeon Delve and it doesn't have to be serious. Yeah. But then it killed all my friends. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, I know what I have to Honestly, do. Honestly, kind of cool that it did make you think that, though. Like, yeah. that's really, yeah. like, two horrors never fucking did that. Like, it made me think hard for other reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, like, I, at least there was, like, somewhat of a, there, like a quandary. Yeah. There, there was an attempt to create, like an interesting connected story mm -hmm. with this one where the Tomb of Horrors just didn't have that. Mm -hmm. Um, and, I think it's really funny that Tomb of Horrors was our first episode because I will always compare to it and it will always just be so bad. But we'll look back at it and just be like, wow, there's so much better stuff you could run besides that. It's so funny that that Ooh. one is so legendary. Um, but yeah. I mean, Jack yeah. kind of alludes to it. That was third. That was mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. There's additions upon additions, people getting better and better at writing yeah. stuff. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was wondering if you guys were going to keep the characters you used in this one shot and use it in a future campaign, seeing as you guys seem to enjoy them a lot. It would be really fun to play Argent and like flesh him out a little more. Mm -hmm. um, That'd be cool. It'd be fun. I've, I I don't play Dragonborn super often, so yeah. that was one of the reasons I made him a Dragonborn was like, I I don't really play Dragonborn ever. And it was pretty fun. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of answered this one already a little bit, but yeah. would you ever would, play Steven again? Yeah, definitely. I would love to play Steven again. Would you play him in a campaign? Yeah. You would play him in a full campaign? <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Could, yeah you, would. could you imagine if it was Steven instead of, spell, instead uh, of Jennifer? I don't know. <laughs> in Spelljammer? That like, would be know. crazy. It would be such yeah. a different game. It would be crazy. <gasps> oh my God. With Squelch? Uh, yeah, with, with Squelch, Squelch still. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be buddy. Squelch, buddy? Squelch and Steven, Squelch. dude. Gross, yeah. So dude. funny. You. There's this type of character that exists on Arcane Arcade. It's like Steven, Squelch, Kethend. Um, they're Don't they're just like Keth these little groups. I, come on. He kind of fits in with them a little bit. It's just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. He's That's what I'm saying. They're yeah, just little, I, little I, fucking weirdos. I've told Jacob if Steven were to be inserted into any game, it would be Strixhaven. He would fit in so well. Yeah. And he would be best friends with Kethen. <laughs> Uh, Dude, and they would be awful together. And Stalwart, <laughs> the three of you. Oh, yeah. Steven, dude. Stalwart, and Kevin. Yeah, dude, we would be okay. Kevin would probably be like, I should probably change my name to <laughs> being like an ST as well. I'll be Steph Ed. I'm Steph Ed. Seth? Oh, yeah. that's good. That's good. Seth, 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 Steven, and Stalwart. Steven's yeah. my best friend. <laughs> We work out together. Steven and Stalwart is the, is the fucking like spin off episode of like, it's the better call Saul of Strixhaven's really Breaking is. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's so funny. All of them would run through the campus. Yo, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I have to go to class. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> if Steven and Keth and they would make like an anime club for sure. Oh, 1000%, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. You would have joined our anime club, but you haven't even seen Clay Ads. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually no. very... Yeah. There's, there's a test you have to pass. <laughs> test. Uh, do you guys like read manga? Uh, no, uh, this is um, primarily the anime. Yeah. Um, the f if you want to join our club, you have to watch Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny hearing... Us do Steven impressions because they all sound different. I mean, yours yeah, is yeah. canon. Mine <laughs> veers into Donald Trump territory. You sound like Cartman from fucking <laughs> South Park. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a they're South Park They're all the same character. vibe, though. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, yeah. can all... I get out of the corner? <laughs> uh, I'm the best at standing in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> can I come out of the corner now? Can I get... Which is I would like to come out of the corner now. Also funny because I'm doing an impression of a character from a TV show. Yeah, talk about your inspiration. <laughs> um, if you've seen Venture Bros, he's um oh. he's Bros. based off of Saint Cloud, who is um Quiz Boy's enemy or oh, arch nemesis. And 
That's how he talks. He has a bowl cut and he <laughs> he he's the lamest person in the show. There's like a scene where he tries to make Quiz Boy eat a hundred pennies. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. He's awful and he talks like that. And I was watching it and I was like, yeah, that's my character. There we Hell go. Yeah. Found it. That's so Doesn't funny. Doesn't Steven also have a bowl cut? Yes, he okay. does. <laughs> okay, yeah, Steven has a bowl cut. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. That's really funny. Um, God. Uh... So, uh, this question asks, what is everyone's favorite pre-written dungeon they have played in slash run? Just in general. Uh, Two more I'm just kidding. Dude, wow. oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's that is your favorite. Freaking, God, no. That's I, funny. I genuinely think, um, it's just, be, hey, it's really just the experience we had with it, but, uh, Icewind Dale was probably my favorite pre-written to run. It was yeah. so much fun. I really, really, really like it. Um, uh, concept wise i like descent into avernus probably or dragon heist the most those mm. two are kind of like i love them but if we're purely going off of experience like uh, icewind dale was just so fun and even like if we're going to talk like dungeon i love the 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 caves at the end of that one it was really fun mm -hmm. and there's a lot of really cool stuff in there i really like etherin everything at the end it's it's genuinely like probably one of my favorites it's very cool i think i agree with you yeah it was fun it was a lot of fun. Yeah, Icewind Dale definitely, I think, has the most like interesting set pieces out yeah. of out of all of them, like contained within like it's so much fucking shit they've packed into that. It's really cool. Like from Dorgar, like fortresses to lost nethery cities to a mm -hmm. freaking nautiloid that crashed yeah. in the middle of the to the dale. Like that's oh cool. Oh my god, there's so many cool things. Mm -hmm. Um, I haven't really run or played in a lot of pre writtens. Um mm. But I mean, I, I'd probably say Dragon Heist is my favorite to run because it's the one that I have run. I feel like I had to do a lot of extra work with it to kind of make it make sense and also like give more stuff for my players to do. Yeah. Um, but it's probably the most fun I had. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It's a great one. Pre-written or just dungeon? Um, they put pre-written dungeon. They have played it. So um, that's like two for me. The, yeah, the, the I, two I that really we played. A lot of yeah, no, I really haven't played yeah. that many pre-written. <laughs> If we're talking just pre runs though, Curse of Strahd always has a little special oh, place in my course. heart. Of course, of course. Curse of Strahd. Strahd is very oh my great. God. I've never finished it, but I have started it like five times. And it was the first ever game that I played. Hell yeah. Indie game. As much as, as confusing as it is, I love Castle Ravenloft. I would really love to do, because I, I think the original Curse of Strahd adventure was just Castle Ravenloft. Mm -hmm. That would be really fun to do on Dungeon Delft. That would be like really one night Castle cool. Ravenloft. That would be so sick. It would be Please, so cool. Give me my so closure. Sick. Oh yeah. my god! All the, from the hundred <laughs> Curse of Strahd you started. Because you can yeah. just stick all three of the items you need just in random mm -hmm. locations in the castle. Yeah. Because that map is freaking ridiculous. Yeah. Of, of yeah. Castle Ravenloft, it's very hard to read. I have it etched into my brain. Of course you have. <laughs> because I've run it a million times, yeah. but also because I made it in Minecraft. Wow, <laughs> that's impressive. When I was prepping it for Arcane Arcade, I fully. I didn't have a kid then, so I had all the time in the world. I fully made it in Minecraft. That's awesome. And every detail. Do you down, still, down do you still have it detail. like saved? No. I unfortunately lost Damn, it bro. around lost like 20. Media. Lost it back in like 2019, 2020. They're crazy. We have a dungeon delve where all Minecraft characters in the Minecraft Ravenloft. That would oh be crazy. Yeah. Man, that'd be so stupid. Oh my God. <laughs> that would suck so bad. I, Man, I wouldn't. No, I would. I wouldn't, hate I wouldn't, I wouldn't enjoy want that. to do that. Yeah. No, 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 no. <sighs> it's actually really hard to make D and D maps in Minecraft because I, the sizes aren't right. Yeah, yeah. It's because scale. it's a because it's a me it's a meter brick, and the, because they build them all on five foot scales, it's like just small or just big enough to not be perfect. Mm -hmm. So you everything has to be either a little small or a little big. Mm -hmm. Um, but it it because it is so 3d the way that the castle ravenloft work it gave me like such a good impression of what it actually is and to like still right now i i have it memorized now i know where everything is damn. and how it works because it gets really confusing because of the way the stairs work and everything and yeah damn so. i better hope you don't roll up through the mists oh my god if somebody yeah. ran it and i was in there i'd be like I, he because he can move through the walls i it's gonna be like me if he goes through the ceiling i'd be like i know it's room he's in come on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, he's, he's right here. Where that it's, it's, it's autumn. Bring the mist to Baroque. Don't tell Crazy. What's your... What's your what, oh. oh, no, go ahead. Okay. I was going to say, I think it's time to roll Meeple's fate. Oh, like, really? Let's you do should. one, one last thing. Pepper, do you... do you, What's your favorite uh, dungeon that you've ever run? I... Or played it? Uh, I, anything in Tomb. I love and hate um, Nine Gods. 
which is the end dungeon that mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of it that's really good and there's a lot of really good like smaller dungeons in like the jungle you can go to i love it yeah i'm a Agreed. huge fan and to, uh, kind of what jack was saying uh, the tomb of annihilation um the entire book puts so much love and so much into yeah. just cholt as in general <sighs> plus it's also like emma it's my first time playing D. &D. Mm. i was the first game i ever ran like, that's so tomb, cool so it was a lot of fun nice god I, I i loved running that adventure it was so much fun S such a great setting as well very cool set pieces in that as well mm -hmm. again ship caught in the in the trees like mm -hmm. an airship there's a lost cities yeah and... lost cities floating cities mm -hmm. um yeah. f jungle infested with undead mm -hmm. nanny poo poo mm -hmm. dinosaurs yeah. dinosaurs dinosaurs undead in the jungle genius port nianzaru such a, yeah. such a port nianzaru is also right. awesome mm -hmm. oh my god bathhouse in port nianzaru mm -hmm. oh dinosaur races a man was killed in lego city in yeah. our game <laughs> um all right pirates and the flaming fist. Oh and god, there's giants. so much says, cool shit. Artist Simber. Fuck like, it, we're so, redoing it. Like, yeah, I was gonna wanna, say. Okay, let's just cool do it. Let's just do it. Let's just replay it. Yo, Storm King's Thunder when <laughs> is all I'm saying. <laughs> I did run that. I don't think it was very good. But no, also Storm King's Thunder also changed is, a lot of it, so I don't know how much. Storm King's Thunder is kind of. Thanks, Pendleton. Look, if you if you've run it and you like it, um, it great. But Storm King's Thunder is is always you know stinky in my brain. It's not the worst thing, but. I think mm. I've always said that I think even though the books came out in reverse, I think Storm Kings is a great part two to Jolt. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Pendleton Ward wrote in Tomb of Annihilation. No, it's a Storm Kings Thunder. No, what? it's Tomb of Annihilation. Yeah. yeah, Source, Source, uh, Source. Trust me, bro. Source, trust me, bro. If it's if it's Storm Kings Thunder, then that means it's both. Loading. Hold yeah, on. you know you're good. You're right. good. Um, I'm gonna go get a dice. Yes, because I gotta, I gotta go Nine grab one. one. Nine one. To see if Meepo lit. Oh, Meepo. Meepo. I hope you get a natural one. Yeah. I hope he's. He was like, there. I found Black Razor. <laughs> this horrible artifact down here. I could kill this wor this fucking whelpling right now. Huh. Man, I could have sworn it was Storm King's Thunder. Uh. No, it's, it's Tomb of Annihilation because there's a lot of funny Adventure Time at level shit in that one, which uh, is yeah. part of the reason why I love that Book one so Pendleton much. Ward, Steve wow, Steve Winter I cannot Wizards believe I got that team. wrong. Well, if once if, when you read both, sorry for the fucking uh, blasphemy, yeah, Pendleton um, Ward. Uh, you, what's the word I was looking for? Slander. Uh, Slander. Oh my god, I got it, got it. <laughs> blasphemy. The, the blasphemy. <laughs> the um, when you see goblins that are throwing themselves at a catapult, you're like. The Adventure Time guy wrote in this one, huh? Um, anyways, uh, it's time to roll. It's time to roll. I don't. Where's my? What surface should I use? Uh, I'm sorry, I had to show uh, you all my armpits. Uh, oh, wait, no. Maybe a. <laughs> you know what? I'll just come over here. I'll just yeah, do yeah, 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 right there. All right, guys. So Calstrix's AC is seven. Wasn't it seventeen or something 17? crazy like that? Um, oh, yeah, we got we got Spencer's. Yeah, look up a white dragon wormlings. Uh, Armor class 16. 16. Oh. All right, now look up a kobold. Okay. Brother, we probably got the monster manual right up here. I know we do, but it's easier to Google it. Uh, whatever. Google it. What you, what you got? It's loading. I think it's plus two. <laughs> yeah, deck plus two. Uh, plus four to hit. <gasps> plus four yeah, to that's hit. Good. That's with good. His with his dagger? With his dagger, yeah. Okay, and plus four to hit. And it does a so D4 plus two piercing. AC 18? AC 16. AC 16, so 1, 2, 3, 4. He needs at least a 12. Come on, Let's see. Meepo. Meepo, did you kill Calsrix? That's a 3. <laughs> <laughs> I was one off. Meepo dies. That was a 3. Uh, Meepo's dead in every universe. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn, sorry. Sorry, guys. Well, Rip the legend. Uh, we will see you guys in the bonus episode. Mm-hmm.